Hi everyone, welcome to another Doug's Lab video. In this video I'll be discussing the element mercury and uh, showing you a whole bunch of it that I recently picked up. This here is a steel flask containing 76 pounds of liquid mercury. It's quite a lot and uh, it doesn't look that big but I guarantee you it weighs a lot. This container is about a quarter inch thick steel and of course it's full of mercury and uh, the whole container weighs about 83 or 84 pounds. So very, very heavy stuff. Mercury is kind of difficult to shuttle around. So uh, I've developed a system of taking it in and out of its container, and that is this. Now this is basically just a wash bottle for like a gas or something, um, where you have a long tube and a short glass tube inside a big flask like this. And anyway, I've got this short side hooked up to my vacuum aspirator, and then the long side I can dip into the flask of mercury, which will then suck the mercury up and fill the flask, and then I can use the flask to fill other things, like this tray. So. Let me demonstrate that. The aspirator's on. Open the flask. Always do this in a ventilated room because mercury vapors are no joke. It's a cumulative poison. It's a neurotoxin. You gotta be careful. Now I'll open up the vacuum. And, with luck, I can get a good seal. Here it comes. And that's mer liquid mercury filling up this flask. Very heavy. I'm going to put the flask down, but I don't want the bottom to fall out of it. That there is about six or seven pounds of mercury. So I'll turn the vacuum off. Make sure there's no beads in the tubing. And then I can pour it out into this glass pan. Very carefully. This is about 10 pounds of mercury. It's very, very heavy. Carefully. Don't want to spill it. Empty it out into this glass pan. Isn't that beautiful? perfect mirror. Let's get some more. Mercury is a very dense element. It weighs about 13 grams per cubic centimeter. And as you can see, this pan has a little more than a centimeter in it of mercury, and that makes that pan extremely heavy. It's got to be shimmed and made sure it's perfectly level because otherwise the pan will crack under the weight of the mercury and spill it all over the floor, which is not good. But mercury can do some interesting things because of its density, like uh, this is an ordinary steel nail. You'll note it floats pretty easily. How about some spare change? A quarter and a nickel? And look, there's even a little bead that formed on top of this one. Spare change. Floats on mercury. These will have to be washed before they can get back into circulation. And even a, uh, here's this, a 12 millimeter socket. Floats. Touches the bottom a little bit, but uh, it does, in fact, float in mercury. So after playing with your mercury for a little while, you might notice it starts to get dirty. There's skin oil on top of it and some bits of dirt and things like that. Uh, the easiest way to clean your mercury is just to take a coffee filter and to poke a pinhole in it 
the camera probably can't see it, but there is a pinhole in this coffee filter. And then you simply stick the coffee filter into a funnel like that, and when you put the mercury inside, the mercury will drip through the pinhole and leave all the crud in the coffee filter. It actually works rather well. Another way of doing it is with nitric acid, but I don't recommend that because uh, then you have to deal with the mercuric nitrate waste, which is, of course, an environmental hazard. Mercury is very, very fun to play with. Um, it's not particularly dangerous by skin contact. In fact, I have mercury in my mouth right now as the silver amalgam. Um, it's a dental filling, of course. Uh, it feels like pushing your hand into jello. You really have to work to get your hand to the bottom of the pan. Uh, it provides a lot of resistance because, again, its density is right around 13 grams per cubic centimeter, and the density of my body is uh, about one. So it also has an interesting ability to just roll right off your skin, and it's uh, it's quite neat to play with, actually. But you don't want to do it for, for a long time because, of course, it is toxic. Um, it does evaporate very slowly, so mercury vapor is coming out into this room. That's why I have the fume hood fan on as a precaution. And you'll notice that you'll get little teeny beads of mercury on stuff sometimes. You can probably see it in this flask. If it'll focus. Yes, you can see right in there on the neck, there's some tiny beads of mercury. So you have to be very careful when you're cleaning this up because you don't want those to be dispersed through the room. Um, which can which can pose an inhalation hazard when they evaporate. So, anyway, um, that's all about all I have about on mercury. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment.